there's this floating dispenser here that, I mean, doesn't appear to be attached to much of anything. What's, what's it doing? <laughs> what's it, what? Aha. Uh -huh. Hello world, I'm Connor Refumiant. I'm here to talk to you about the possibilities of Minecraft string theory. Wait, don't go away. Now, as it turns out, uh, string is possibly a lot more useful than we once thought. See, it's normally used for detection, occasionally with tripwire hooks, but more often than not, uh, you put it in front of an observer, and if someone steps in it, it gives a, a pulse. However, it can actually be used to carry redstone signals. See, this is a standard redstone line, and it goes for 16 blocks, and then it dies, and you need a repeater or something. Now, if you get a tripwire hook instead, the maximum length of the string is like 40 blocks-ish. And so like this long distance, it can carry a signal. Uh, additionally, it's nearly invisible. So you can have it just lines going through the sky, you know, through your base, just to all your different farms. And they're not quite invisible, but pretty close. You have to really know what you're looking for to be able to pick that line out of the horizon. Like, look, you can hardly see it. I'm having trouble finding this thing. There we go. So that's pretty useful. Uh, so you have invisible lines that go much farther than redstone, all without d delay. Uh, let's actually just sleep real quick. I have these all tied to night sensors as well to show off their kind of invisibility. You can, I mean, have it trigger lights in your base. And it's like they're floating. Uh, and then, now the way I have it set up is you just have a uh, dropper there that drops an item onto here. So if I pick it up, it happens to be tripwire hook. This deactivates. And you'll notice this light is off. If I drop another item, it's on again. Just like that. Now, maybe you need it to go farther than 40 blocks. Well, I've prepared uh, two designs of a repeater. Not quite where I meant to land. Now, I'd say this one is better. Uh, I invented this one first, and there might be some niche uses for it, so I'll include it too. Now, what this does is it actually registers that there was a change in the tripwire, because when you step in and out, you see there's a different animation. The observer sees it too. The observer sees all. Uh, sends a pulse, which gets collected by this repeater into this. Theoretically, you could just attach your dropper directly to your observer. However, it would double pulse every time. So we can actually just grab some redstone to demonstrate that. If I throw this, if I can find the button, you see it activates twice, which isn't necessarily what we want. So we can replace it with a repeater. So this time, by the time the second one triggers, I missed, uh, the signal is still going. And so it only gives one. However, there is a faster, better way to do that, which is this design. What it does is it actually takes power from this hook because it's powered. Uh, you know, the piston receives it and pushes the block out. So it's because we're not detecting changes, it's just one signal. And because pistons are pretty fast, that makes this signal pretty fast. Uh, the reason I have the snow block here, by the way, is because if I didn't have it, this item flies out and sometimes misses, which makes our thing unreliable. Whereas if it's with powder snow, uh, I missed a D, but it's fine. Uh, it will fall straight down every time. So if I can keep triggering this, they will all fall in the same spot. You can see they're all here. Like, whereas if I do this, you will observe. Okay, those fell pretty close together, but still, it can be unreliable. You can hit the thing. I'll just fly through. Yeah. So you see, they're all over the place. Uh, and you can see these working because I can show the light. Just 
just put this back. So if I step in here, you'll see the lights flashing. This one flashes first because one piston's faster than an observer into a repeater. And you will see this one has the double pulse if something stays in it too long, which shouldn't be an issue based on the designs I have. You would, if you used what I have here, which is just drop or an item, you'd have to make it fall through. Um, whereas here I have it saved. And, but it'll drop it. You do need to refill these occasionally with just some cheap item. It's, I mean, it takes a while, but eventually it's going to round. Or you could have like a chest up here. Uh, I'm against the chest idea just because that makes it more intrusive and bigger. Whereas this, it's a thing you'll have to hide in your if you're using this like in your base, but it's not too bad. But the more stuff you add onto it, it's just it gets harder and harder to hide. But and of course, if you need more than just a pulse, you could always have like a uh, a T T flip flop. So just like uh, piston, redstone. Or even we're having the copper bulbs in the next update. Uh, I need a block. So like this. So let's say you want to power... Uh, you want to be able to turn off on and off this piston at will. You just have like that T flip-flop there. You activate once. Now it's on. And then you can go back through, activates again, and it's butt powered. Um, just ignore that. I butt powered it. Brilliant. There we go. Now, if we fly through this to trigger it, deactivates. It's not. Oh, it's not one ticking. Oh well, but you'll have the uh, um, T flip flops, the um, copper bulbs, the uh, the cop flops as they are known, the copper floppers. Um, but yeah, that is my video. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed, please be sure to leave a like, subscribe to the channel, ring the notification bell. It tells me that you're enjoying this kind of content and want to see more of it. Plus, uh, with notification bell, when I do release more of this content, you'll get to see like a thing in it. You know tells you oh yay i can watch this it might be interesting but uh yeah that is all bye